Hi there, Michelle here from Snazzy Scrappin' and today I'm showing you our last release for 2022 and that's our Creator Card apron die set. So this die set is a 19 piece die set. It comes with lots of options for you to do different variety of aprons and I'm going to show you a couple of that I've already uh, whipped up today very quickly. Um, been a bit time poor the last couple of weeks, but this is one I've used with the straight um, pocket designed for the barbecue apron. Now I've used the silicon foam tape, um, so you can see there's a little bit of a pocket there. And I've made sure that I've put two pieces there and then one piece there. So this square edge, um, right angle edge pocket um, is designed like that so that one um, will show out a little bit on the back but it's only marginal in that so that one's designed to go like that with the barbecue tools that I've just cut out in brown and um, silver and then just cut the bit to go on there it's got a separate little pocket you don't have to use that and it's got the insert now I made a bit of a boo-boo with that one because I um, stuck it down crooked and my OCD wouldn't let me leave it there <laughs> and I probably shouldn't have. Now this is the kitchen themed one. Um, you do get a choice of pockets. So today I haven't used the, the rounded um, pocket, that one. Um, I've used the scalloped one and this straight one. So you have four choices, one, two, three, four, but this one also fits inside that one so you can use that one without the scallops or that little rounded one this is your um, neck piece and you'll see by some of the samples that um, the other the girls on the creative team have done that uh, some of them have actually put it down here so it's you can do whatever you like and I'm sure people will come up with way better ideas than what I've come up with um, this one you get the little mitt with it as well and or you get that with the set um, but I've used the little mitt and then I've done um, the little tools to go in there and the little rolling pin and I've used the silicon foam tape again that six mil one uh, just so you've got a little bit of depth so they can stick in there but not so much that they're going to fall out now when you're doing the whisk, I'll just give you a little word of advice. So I jack papered the silver and then you've got to get those little bits out in between. And you're best if you pull them from the back because then you're not going against the glue like the jack paper glue. So pull them out at the back and they'll, they'll come out easy. Try and pull them from the front and you'll get the glue coming up and it's a little bit trickier because I have actually wrecked one. Anyway, I'll tuck that in there. So you get the option of you've got some barbecue tools, you've got some kitchen tools, and then you've got some garden tools. So today I'm going to make up the gardening one that I did. I've cut it all out beforehand. And those ones I just had some, that was in a, a mail Kaiser one I had from years ago and this was in a Christmas Kaiser one so it's amazing what you can find when you're looking for you know gingham type things and that so today I'm using this one is out of our card makers dream paper pack so I've cut the pieces out which makes it easy so you can see there um, the fold lines now I've made I made a little bit of a boo-boo with this one must have been um, not thinking or something, but I actually put the stitching on this one. So, um, and forgot about doing this die. So I had to get it done separately and it fits perfectly over the stitching there like that. But you could just use it with that if you just wanted a plain color or cut it out with your base on the pattern. So I'm going to actually ink that this time just with a bit of walnut stain around the edge. 
should have done that before I took the jack paper off. You can hear that stickiness. Just want to give it a bit of a rustic look when it's going in the garden. Okay, and so that will fit in there like that. Now I'm going to put the insert in straight away. Now you could stamp anything on there. We've got lots of little mini sentiment stamp sets that you could use. But I really didn't want to... I don't like my videos to go for a long time, as you know. And I'm sure my customers will come up with way better ideas than me. So that's our insert. And then with the Velcro dots. Now, everyone loves the Velcro dots because they're just so easy and they're extra strong. So I'm going to put one here on the inside. And then I'm going to put the opposite on top of it. And then all you have to make sure that you do is line those up perfect before you close it. Press it down and you've got that ready to match up. Now, I did put on this one, I used, you could use the Wonder Tape that we sell because it's really strong, but you have to um, get a really small amount. So I just used the Nuvo glue on this. You could use the art with the glue if you have that or the Tombow. Any of those will work. Oh, and try not to smear it like I just did. But they do move. And then that'll dry. I didn't do a real good job then. I'll have to get my glue rubber out. Okay, so we've got that. And then I'm going to do this little pocket I like the scalloped one so I'm just going to put this one on it first because I've put jack paper on that and that one's designed to just sit inside it perfectly so it's like a nesting one I might have done it crooked but I'm not going to worry about it okay so with this little scalloped one I just Put like a bits like that just enough to keep it there you could put little brads to um, hold your uh, neck piece in if you wanted to I think Sharon's done one where she's used a couple of brads there I forget that I have those things in my stash like brads and eyelets and things like that but you could use that. Oh, come on, tweezers. I love this tape, but it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to get the back off. But it's great because you can see there, it's a bit like jelly and it's only a mil thick. So it's great to use on all those sets like the toolbox and this one and the wallet that have pockets that you want to put something in. But you need it to be not um, that wide that they're going to fall out. So we're going to put that one there. I think I, I think I've cut out the little smaller pocket for this one too. I thought that'd be nice to go up there as well. Ah, oh, I didn't put anything on it. Um, I might just tape it. Oh, actually, I'll put a bit. I'll do the red with it too. I actually, I, I, when I bought out the toolbox one, I probably had five customers then contact me and say, have you thought about doing an apron one? So I've actually bought out uh, ones in between, but had this one, in the back of my mind and then had it was drawing it in stages it was probably the hardest one to draw out of the, the lot and my sister did a great job cleaning up my not so professional drawings
but I've already done the first two Create cards for next year and I'm looking forward to them. So they'll come out February, start to come out in February next year, having a bit of a break over from now till then. Okay, so then you get your, your tools. So I've cut them out in green today and then I've cut them out in silver. So the green I just cut out in green basil and it doesn't have anything on the back. But these ones I've cut out with jack paper and I'm just going to carefully, because I only want the silver bit and I'm going to put that over the top. So the handle is still green and then the fork is silver. We'll just put that in there for the moment. You could put one in the top one up there. Ah, oh, seems like I've cut that off there. Lucky I'm putting the silver there. I oh, didn't even notice that. Um, oh God. This is terrible. I don't do gardening, so I'm not sure whether I cut the right bit off then. Tape does all the gardening as well. It's the cooking, so I'm not real real good on what um, the spade actually should look like. But there we go. That'll, that'll do. And then we've got a water bottle here. So a spray bottle. So what I'm going to do with it, because I know um, the bottom of it is white actually going to cut that brown there like that and then i'm just going to ink where's my non-stick i've got a non-stick stick mat here and i'm just going to ink that part in brown i know it's supposed to be green i think it is a darker green that bit for the that you screw up and do that and if you wanted to you could use your pen I've got a food ball one here and just put some ridges in it if you wanted to and the thing and then I've put jack paper on the back of that one have I or maybe I didn't I bet I did it on this one oh, yeah. that's all right We'll just get a bit of tape. I should have done it the other way, not to worry. These things happen. Don't they? Oh, I don't think I, I think I've wrecked that um, top looking thing. Anyway, I'm sure you'll do much better. So there's our water bottle. We could put our water bottle anywhere, really. We could put our fork up there. We could put that there. Or you could just have it sitting next to it like that if you wanted to. So I hope you like that set. I'm sure you're going to do heaps of wonderful ideas. Now, this one also... I've left some room because you can put your gift card holder in there. So this one is part of the gift card money pocket die. So it's got a one size for a gift card and a note. And then you have some sentiments that you can put on there. So I'm going to do this with the Wonder Tape. And it's very easy. I don't think I bought a gift card though. I might have that. I've got a card there I can put in it though. Okay. So this is just your normal wonder tape, the extra sticky. Okay, so I'm going to pull that one. First, stick that one down, then that one, and 
close it up. That makes your gift card holder. And then I'm just going to tape that down there. There goes my inker. over the end on both sides that doesn't matter because when you pull it off we just put it back like that don't try and cut it or anything same with this one and then I'm going to just put that in there like that so I can put the gift card there and here I've got Henry's new silver NRMA card that fits perfectly in there. And then, oh, so there we go. Oh, and when do I put a little spray bottle as well? You could even um, tape the spray bottle on there if you want, or you could put it in there like that. So that's the set. You get the barbecue tools, the garden tools and the kitchen tools in it. And I hope you um, like that one. I know a lot of people asked me for something like that and hope you enjoy. And of course they sit up for you to display as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and check out our Facebook for our VIP group. Okay, thank you. Bye.